Hiya, it's Robin here. It's lovely to see you. Uh, it's great to see you back in your classrooms and happy autumn term. Well, let's start by looking at some pictures. Pause the video on these pictures and see if you can work out the link between them. Hopefully you spotted that the connection was corners. Have you ever heard someone say the expression, it feels like we've turned a corner? Pause the video on the next picture and talk about what you think it means to have turned a corner. At the end of last term, we talked about hope, looking forward to a new beginning, being back in school, seeing our friends again, seeing family again, learning new things, making new friends, maybe having new teachers. Well, here we are at the start of a new term, a new school year. I wonder if it feels like you have turned a corner. Pause the video and talk about which of the things that you'd hope for have actually happened. And also think about what do you hope for this term? We're going to watch a story that Jesus told from the book of Luke, if you want to read it yourself. Now, this story is about a widow and she hopes to be treated fairly in court. Now, sometimes we have to take action to turn things we hope for into reality. So as you watch this story, I want you to think about what action does this widow take? Jesus told his disciples a parable to show them that they should keep praying and not give up. I've reached a decision. The family in question is to hand over all property to the bank and pay the rest of the loan in weekly instalments for the next 20 years. Next case. Sir, have pity on a poor broken family. Pity? Puh. Next case! Have pity on my family, blah blah blah. Ha! Hello, Judge. We're neighbours. Incapable of maintaining a relationship. I dated my girl. I to be working out. Judge, I need you to defend me. The landlord's kicking me out. He wants more rent. Black puppy, thanks. Hey, Judge! 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 Okay, okay! I'll take the case, just get out! Miserable old woman. And Jesus said, so if that's what the shonky judge did, then how much more will God get justice for his chosen ones who cry out to him day and night? So that widow, she just wouldn't give up, would she? She persevered. She wouldn't give up hope and she kept on taking action. I wonder, do you think that this is a good attitude to have. So I'd like you to pause the video again and talk about the questions that are on the screen. Does your school have values, aims or ethos that are linked to hope and perseverance? Can you think of some real life examples? What could you do to show these? And what do you think the adults in your school could do to show these?
Our song for today is a One More Step. And I chose it because there's a line in that song that says, round the corners of the world I turn. So I hope you enjoy singing it. Now, for our prayer and reflection times this term, I'm going to set you a bit of a challenge. Now, each week, I'm going to challenge you to be silent for a period of time. And each week, we're going to increase this by 10 seconds. And in November, you'll have a remembrance assembly. And for remembrance, we always have a two minute silence. So we're going to build up our silence towards that length of time. So for our silence, I'm going to put two images on the screen that will make you think. You may prefer just to shut your eyes and be quiet or even just pray quietly yourself. Now, you'll recognise one of these pictures from the assembly last term about treating everybody well. So I hope and I pray that you will have a great term this term. And how do I put my hope for you into action, I hear you ask? Well, I have this 
It's a pentagonal prayer prism, which sits on my mantelpiece and has each school's name on it and pictures of each school. And each time I look at that, it reminds me to think about you all and to pray for you. We're going to finish by hearing a prayer. It's called Go Gently by Jane Smith. I look forward to seeing you next week. Bye for now. Bye. Go gently. Go gently with yourself. Go carefully with your health. Go peacefully each step you take. Go wisely each choice you make. Go kindly with compassion. Go bravely taking action. Go thoughtfully being true. Go graciously in all you do. Go calmly through your day. Go faithfully as you pray. Go securely in your God. Go humbly in his love.